course, I want to tell you I'm very happy to be a part of this very joyful moment in your life. And all your friends from St. Benedict's here expect me to go on and on and on. <laughs> so, I'm not going to go on and on and on. But I want to say that I'm so happy for both of you. This has been a double journey for Charles. Uh, a journey towards the Catholic faith and a journey to have the marriage which they have been in blessed and reconciled in terms of a sacrament. And uh, from the time I've known Charles, I think it started about 11 years ago that I have known him. I know how you've been on the journey long before I met you. But let me tell you, it has been a struggle all along, ups and downs, even to the last minute, even last evening. We came into a bump and we got over that. And so let me tell you, I'm so happy that they are here. And what could we say about them at this time? What would I have to say to them? Well, I mentioned that the key to all of our life is try to live out a life of love. And that love is always, first and foremost, lived out with our immediate family. And so, what this sacrament of baptism and marriage is all about, I think it is very much summed up in a letter that one spouse wrote to the other. And I don't know whether it was the wife that wrote it to the husband or the husband that wrote it to the wife. But on this occasion, I hope that they both will be able to write it to each other all the days of their lives. And this is what the letter says. I love you, not only for what you are, but for what I am when I am with you. I love you, not only for what you have made of yourself, but for what you are continually making of me. I love you for the goodness you bring out of me, and for passing over the many foolish and weak things you find in me. I love you for drawing out into the light all the beautiful things you could only find in me. You have done more for me than any creed. You have made me experience the goodness of him in whose image I am fashioned. And all this you have done with your touch, with your words, with your smile, with yourself. And so from the very bottom of my heart, with all my love, I thank you. <clears throat> that is what we celebrate in these sacraments. And so Charles and Marissa and all of you who are supposed to be up here, I don't know how many of you are, we ask you to gather around this baptismal font.